Today we're talking about something very specific. I'm going to be telling you why the sort of base model, the 64 gigabyte version, probably isn't worth it for you. Welcome back to your favorite YouTube channel. Oh, we're not your favorite YouTube channel? Well, head down there, hit that subscribe button and keep watching our content because very soon we will be. I'm Andy and this is 128KB and today we're gonna to be talking about the Steam Deck yet again. If you haven't seen our previous video about the Steam Deck, go and watch that one first. However, today we're talking about something very specific. I'm gonna be telling you why the sort of base model, the 64 gigabyte version, probably isn't worth it for you. So the reason why I think it's kind of a little bit pointless for most people is because most people are seeing this as, oh yeah, great, this is 350 pounds UK to get into the Steam Deck sort of area. Okay, yes, it does have a micro SD card expansion slot, so you can expand that storage. However, it's not gonna be as quick to expand that with a micro SD as it is to buy one of the more expensive versions that actually has an inbuilt NVMe drive, which is gonna be so much faster. So 64 gigabytes of storage really isn't that much. Now, I do see why people like the idea of that. Like I just said, it's the cheaper model. It's a more accessible way of getting into the ecosystem of the Steam Deck, so it is going to be enticing because of that lower price point. However, 64 gigabytes, well, if you're a PC gamer already, you know that most PC games, at least AAA games, they're far more than 64 gigabytes. Or if they're not, then you're probably only looking at getting maybe two games on there, on the internal memory. So that's gonna be a massive hindrance for a lot of people because so many people will want to have multiple games installed so that they can just flick between them. Because if you're downloading games that are maybe 60 gigabytes a time and you're only allowed to play one at a time and then you have to delete that, and then download another game and then sort of play that. And if you get bored, you've got to sort of delete that and download another one. Well, it's just gonna be a bit of a pain and it's not gonna be as fun as if you had multiple games installed and then you can just sort of flick between them. So really, I think the 64 gigabyte version is aimed at people that are going to want to be emulating. So either going to be hacking the Steam Deck and putting their own sort of system on there or whether that's Windows and then they can run emulators or any other sort of emulator software, well then they will be able to have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of games on there because those game ROMs are so small in comparison to fully fledged AAA games of today. So I think the, the base model is for those people where they can sort of just put what they want on there and run it wherever they want, whenever they want, and they can have tons of stuff in the hands at any time. However, if you're just a standard person that's maybe never played a PC game before, or maybe you are a PC gamer, but you just wanna play on the go, well then I highly recommend that you head for the sort of second in line model, the 256 gigabyte, because that does have a NVMe drive and 256 gigabyte is pretty good. You will get several games on there. And obviously you're not gonna get as many, but you could put your sort of lesser games that aren't gonna be requiring fast speeds onto your micro SD card and keeping your AAA games that are gonna need that fast read speed to be on the internal memory. And that way you've got the best of both worlds there. So if you're playing sort of, you know, indie games that are maybe side scrolly style games, well then stick them on your micro SD card because they're not gonna take that much data to be processed. However, if you're gonna be playing something new, uh, like an FPS game or something like that, well then you probably want to have that on the actual internal memory instead. Now the next model up, of course, is totally the best idea because that's got 512 gigabytes and you get the better screen as well because, well, not the actual screen itself, but the glass that goes over the top, which is anti-reflective. It's got a coating on there and it looks great. It really does. So I would highly recommend that you check out the more expensive model and you do have a lot of time. You have to realize that is there's been so many pre-orders. You're looking at Q2 of 2022 before they even start shipping most of these models. So you've got probably you know, six to 10 months until you're actually likely gonna get one. So I would highly recommend that you save up and get one of the more expensive models instead because you're gonna have a much better time. Just don't go blindly pre-ordering the base model thinking that you can go and play PC games wherever you want because instead of PC games, it's gonna be PC game 
and that's gonna be about it. But however, of course, if you are someone that wants to emulate or on Steam, you only play indie games or retro games that are on there, you know, like the Sega classics and all that kind of stuff, well, then you'll be absolutely fine with the base model, but just don't be sort of rushing in if you're looking to play the newer games on the go. Highly recommend you sit back, save an extra 100 or 200 pounds and buy the more expensive versions because those NVMe drives will be seriously much faster than that base model 64 gigabyte and also any micro SD card that you're gonna put in yourself. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you want to see all sorts of things, gaming, hardware, and tech, including a podcast about all those things, head over to 128kb.co.uk. And make sure you stick around, go down there, hit the like and subscribe button because we have more videos on the way about the Steam Deck, which you don't want to miss out. Anyway, I'm Andy, this is 128kb. I'll see you next time.